If you want to see the same information in multiple pieces in the footer area, then you can add in a footer as well. So to do that, first of all, you need to scroll down and over here you can see add footer is an option. And if you were to click on this, then footer area pops up right here. So you can go around and add in information like uh, uh, this website is a test, uh, test, uh, test design for YouTube right here. So just like this, you can go around and manage this out and you can go around and then bold this out right here. And you can also go around link it if you want to. So I'm just going to go around right here and center align this as you can see right here. I'm going to go around over here onto the section and add in a background right here. And this is the footer as you can see right here. Footer can also be multi-line right here. And footer is basically um, a text area as you can see just like this. So if I were to go around over here onto a preview now, so what will happen is that you will be able to see the footer area at the bottom right here. This is uh, this website is a test design. And if I were to go to any other pieces, then you will be able to see the same thing over here, as you can see. Let me just close this. And then this is what you have, as you can see. So you can go around and you can see that this is the footer. So apart from regular things, if I were to go around and let's say, I'm going to just add in a link right here. You can see that I can also add in different elements like buttons right here. So this can be a, um, an area where you can add in different elements like even YouTube videos or even maps or docs or charts. Whatever you want to attach, you can attach it out right here. So I'm going to go around onto the chart section right here. And I'm just going to go around, select out this data. I'm going to select this, click on add, and I can add in the data over here. And now what happens is that this is on the footer area. So if I were to go around onto preview, then what happens is that you will be able to see that on the footer area, no matter which page you go to. So let's say if I were to go to home right here and then scroll down, this is what you have. Go around over here onto schedule right here. This is what you have. Go around onto venue. And this is what you have right here. And that is how you can work around with adding a footer inside of Google Sites. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.